all of the possible layouts in the stage, the two platform layouts, and of course no platform layout. But it's on the players to really bring us in with it. Let's get to it. Let's get Determine right the it. rest of our top four. Let's get this. HF3K Delphi from Tilde. Tilde trying to start off starting, landing with the Nair on shield, trying to put this pressure already on Dill. And Dill knows exactly what's coming, right? Dill's been around the he's been around the block. He knows exactly what's coming with this Falco. And even if you know what's coming, still, this pressure with Falco, this damage is going to hurt a lot on this Rob. 54% already. Tilde looking to find even more, but that upfield of her own coming out from Dill, trying to find an opening here. That laser getting parried. Good stuff in the reflection. Till both these players just know what's up. There's no nothing new being happening here, and both these players have their their anticipation up to ten. This is crazy. Oh my yep. gosh, up to ten! It's just another opportunity for Tilde to find that down air. As soon as those platforms leave and the ledge play goes just a little bit off course, it's an easy stock for him. And playing to those platforms is going to be a huge lifeline for Tilde because it's going to force the approach from his opponent. And even though Rob has plenty of an opportunity to control that platform space and potentially take stocks or big damage, great stage control, what have you, if Tilde's playing at response, that's equal amounts of damage. Tilde already setting Dill up to get lapped in Ooh. percent. A couple of techs along the way, but he's stay alive. Tech to his Zeus. Tilde is hanging in right now. Oh, down throw, is he up there? Yeah, we are going to see, and that's definitely going to take you out the top. Good stuff for the Dill, even with the stock count right now. 80% on the board. Tilde capping the jump there with an up air. The highest jump in the game, and Tilde is absolutely showing out. Trying to find the backer, just barely missing it. Gyro in hand now. Falco with Gyro in hand is a thing of nightmares. You've got to be careful here. Uh-oh. Back up from Rob. Can it call on the platform? You've got to be so careful here. Dill racking up that damage. Oh my gosh, there we go. Okay. The side but just barely missing it till the pressure comes coast to coast, my friend. Coast to coast. We're on the other side of town and city. We went to the town, now we're in the city. This is crazy. Oh, nice the drag down forward here. Oh, totally looking the closest out here. Huge laser and dead yeah, that's, that's oh that's unfortunate. You're in. She's left there off. It's alright. <laughs> An interesting SD, but still plenty of wiggle room to be able to take things back. Nice, trying to set up with those lasers there. Tilda trying to find an opening. There we go, rolling into that up tilt there. That's going to be really unfortunate for Dill. 47%. Tilda trying to put this pressure off stage. The pressure from Falco on this ledge, not necessarily the best option, but like the, the threat range. Not the best like on the ledge specifically, but once you get up, the up tilt catching your jumps up, catching your normal get up, catching your roll. There's so much that you can do. Find that back air there too. Tilda is like, oh, out. It's an angle for sure. It's a good way to respond to Rob Gyro. That's what a good better way to respond, way to, respond to. to Rob than just get him off stage? Game one going in favor of Tilde. Get him out of there. Tilde looking clean as ever starting the set out with a two stop. Two. Honestly, Dill was looking very clean for that game one. You Honestly, I like the approach here. You're playing Rob like a sort of sword character, right? Like you're trying to stay, keep Falco out of your threat range using your disjoints to kind of keep him back. And there's almost so much you can do against Tilde when he really just runs in and nares your shield. And you're, for, you're put in that situation of, what do I do here? Or how do I not take 80%? Dill was doing somewhat decently towards the beginning, and now you have to realize that Tilde it knows exactly how to get in on this character. There is no surprise out of shield here. That's the one thing that Rob kind of struggles with here. I'm curious to see what are going to be the adjustments to approaching the matchup here, because I feel like as far as playing the stage, Still played it fine. Mm -hmm. One little mishap with an SD, it is what it is. But Tilde's reactions when it comes to that offstage play are truly lethal. So figuring out more plot play, trying to force the battle to center stage, I think the things are, that are going to assist Dill a lot more. But that's on her to actually execute. And of course follow through, because Rob's a character that could just suddenly make a stock disappear. You say things definitely can be said for Falco. I mean, already doing 110%. Dill's got to be careful in this offstage game. Like, he's putting on so much pressure at this ledge, but Tilde is literally just sitting there. He's like, the same look on his face. Like, okay, pick an option. I know what you're going to do here. I know what's going to happen. Normal get up. Oh, I mean, double the double roll away. Very good stuff. Hanging on there. Trying to find that opening against Tilde. Tilde coming back with the forward air. So careful sitting on this offstage. Catching the gyro in hand and that forward air cranking the stock. Because Tilde, now you got gyro in hand. And Dill's got to just deal with this. The bird with the toy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, what will he oh. do? He will rack up plenty of damage. Dill already starting to hurt as she just came onto the stock. And once again, gyro in hand. It's such... Something you have to keep in mind constantly when you're fighting against item characters, but especially Rob, because of how much Rob gets off of gyro. Even if you yourself aren't confident with making use of it, deny Rob the ability to have it. It's one less zoning tool. It's one less combo piece. It's one less Ooh. thing to worry about. 
Oh and my so god! Stop what a call out! Amazing stuff from Dill, calling out the uh, gyro throw back with the side beat, and immediately getting the bear. I mean, Tilde firing right back with that backer. Dill, Dill down a full stock is still definitely in this game. I mean, the awareness is here. It's just dealing with Tilde once he lands on top of you and finding that damage. These Rob combos of your own against Falco. Oh, here we go though. Up till up till the classic 22%. So they're looking to put it on even more. The up air bridges. Boom, 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 boom. Oh my God. Somehow coming on back though, a lot of damage built up, but no stock to be found from it. Oh my gosh, Tilly looking as clean as ever right now. 71% off of all those up airs. Not able to find the stock though. Dill just trying to find the footing right now. She finds an upside shot of shield once again. Tilly shooting the platform. This is exactly what you need to punish right now. But he's back on the platform. He's back. Maybe back with that side B. Oh, nice dash attack there too. The dash attacks on shield are just not working out for Dill. It's not an especially safe move, and Tilde is punished every time. Oh my gosh, living in the town and city uh, ceiling coming in clutch for Dill. Tilde waiting it out though, waiting for that one mistake from this Rob. Oh, nice grab there to catch Tilde lacking. Side B into, oh, I'm in the back with a downer coming out from Tilde actually. And you go with the laser that up air, 161% maxed in this Rob, but in a really bad spot. It's a weak downer coming out. This is looking like the end for Dill. Then you make something crazy happen off stage here. Oh, there we go. Nice rebuttal there with the forward air. Oh. She's managing to survive. That's crazy oh. enough. Unfortunately for her, it does not last long enough. Tilde going up 2-0 right now. Oh, my God. Absolutely running through the motions there. Falco just kind of has the option to be there, like, everywhere you are off stage. Like, we talk about Rob's advantage. We talk about how he can float literally wherever he wants. But Falco is so good, like, his movement. He'll be able to just jump around and catch you landing wherever. You can get that downer off stage. you will catch you with a side beat and a spike. It, like, Rob is no one is safe from the wrath of the bird. Tilde up 2-0 right now. One game away from moving on to loser's quarters. And Dill's got to make something crazy happen right now if she wants to stay in this. Get a reverse 3-0 on Tilde. Potentially keeping the whole set to Town and City. Very bold choice from Dill, but it's a stage that I feel like she is playing it well. Tilde is just playing red hot right now. Mm -hmm. I think it's that pressure of playing from the lower bracket. You've got players who have that very strong sense of self, that ego behind them, where they know they're nice at this game. They got the accolades to prove they're nice at this game, but they don't like having to prove it all the time at 100%. You're still human. Oh, it's yeah. a tournament that both of these players can very much win, but doing it from the lower bracket is just so much work. It's a little bit less work if you could 3-0 your opponents. A little bit less. I mean, Tilde showing that he's absolutely comfortable in this match right now. Trying to find the down smash. Dill catching that errant down smash there. Trying to find the side beat. Oh, a little too lost in the sauce there. Both these pairs going for a little bit of an overzealous option. And Tilde trying to find that punish. Nice drag down. Forward air into up to. Oh, unfortunate DI on that back air. Tilde now putting Dill in the second stock. But having that lead in the game three, looking Ooh. as comfortable as ever. Puzzling set of buttons at the ledge from Dill, you know, she's just trying to end up the stock as quick as she can. And I don't blame her, honestly. Mm -hmm. Tilde's already trying to press advantage. Oh, he's, where is he going? All right, hey, listen, listen, where listen. Where is he going? I get it. it, it Falco jumps well. But Rob can afford to go down there and get a little silly. He was looking like a penguin down there, bro. Uh, yeah, bird. Yeah, where was he for going? Real. He was going to the Arctic. Oh, my gosh. I'm trying to put this man on an endangered species list with a play like that. Oh the only thing in danger right now is still at this ledge. Nice up throw coming out. Trying to find that down. But that backer, immediate back from Tilde. Still looking at her possible tournament stock. And Tilde looking like oh, has all the confidence in the world. They're, this this Falco is looking clean. Oh my god, double down air, triple down air, back air, reflector. Oh my gosh, he looks like he wants to put this game out right now. This is insane. Killed a rapid jab too. He wants it all. Clearance sale on these inputs. Everything must go. Every, this, is, this is the real back of school show. This is insane. Oh my gosh, the lasers are coming out. The till, oh my gosh, the taunt from. T uh, <laughs> doing it for the fans. <laughs> the people. <laughs> Shout out to good people of New York. Shout out to Till Day. Shout outs to that down air. Till goes down 3 0, but in the absolute best way possible. Let's get up for how uh, 3K's own Dill. Down in fifth place, but a very respectable fifth place. Indeed. To the very end, she put on an excellent show. Absolutely. Thank you. To, and Tilde, obviously, <laughs> in 3L fashion, she, like, PGR player, like, ranked second in New York. Absolutely, like... Wait, listen, all, New York has prime caliber to offer. Things get a bit silly. Some things never change. Uh, silliness is one word to describe this set. <laughs> that was... That was fun. 
I, I had a great time. It's a fun time all around. Like, you gotta learn to laugh. Oh my and this is the type of set, these are the type of players that'll definitely Where was get he you going? Where, 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 he was trying to find... What was he cooking? <laughs> <laughs> you could feel the eye roll. You could feel the shade from the replay from the player cam. From behind the curtains, I felt the shade, bro. You love to see it, honestly. But it's still day we'll be seeing a bit more of later on. Mm -hmm. Fidel, catch your TOing the rest of the bracket. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's I mean, how it is out here. I mean, hey, listen, for us, that's our time, too. Yeah, we're about to move into it's the top four. It's been a phenomenal start to this top eight. And thank you so much for joining myself and Momo. But we got more action to see. You've got Dara and Uber who are going to bring you the top four. So make sure to stay tuned for the rest of Defend the North 2022. Thank you, man. It's been a pleasure. It thank has. you so much for accompanying here, man. It's been a blast. Thanks we'll be for taking having a quick little break. Don't go anywhere, guys. Get some water, get a snack. We'll be right back with Defend the North 2022. Craig, you still with me? Yes. Great. What's the equation of the slope? Y equals MX plus B. Sea that borders Europe and Africa. Mediterranean. Darren Froth, dance of screen, line four. For to be more alive is to live out of line. Incredible. Okay, that's enough for the day. Let's yes! start. Oh! So freaking good! Craig? Oh, sorry. I'm not. You're, we're friends. You're.